Hi, I'm Don. And I might be Julie, but you knew that. This is the review of the West Coast Swing Lesson that we taught on Friday the 27th of May. Memorial Day weekend. It was West Coast Swing, as I said. Here's the entire, the beginner pattern was an underarm turn. One, two, three and four, five and six, a hand change. Three and four, five and six, an underarm turn. Two, three and four, five and six. And then I believe we added a cut off. One, two, three and four, five and six, what we call an in out cut off. I don't know what we called it. Uh, intermediate was. I was thinking we could turn around this way oh. and show that cut off because all they saw was your back. Three and four, five and six. Part two. Starting the same way. One, two, three and four. Underarm turn. Oh, no, I think it was a cut off. You're right. Okay. And then an underarm turn with a hand change. Two, three and four. Five and six. Cut off number two. Five and six. Underarm turn with a hand change. And this was a pushback. Two, three, and four, five, and six. Push back from this direction. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Now to teach it. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you. Oh gosh. Rhythm, six count patterns. We ask the ladies to start on the right foot, gentlemen to start on their left foot. We step one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Walk, walk, triple step, triple step. That was the basic six count cadence or rhythm of West Coast Swing. First thing we taught was an underarm turn. On the underarm turn, if we think of the place where we're standing as a slot that's in between two railroad ties, both in the slot right now. By count number two, Don is off on this rail. I'm stepping forward on count for, for count number one and two. One, two. As you can see, I have not passed his left shoulder. At this point, he's starting to look at his watch on his left hand. I'm stepping three and four. Ladies, if you were with us on Friday night, you know that Matt McConaughey is standing right over there and I'm checking him out. Three and four. Don is back in the slot, I turn to face him, and we both anchor in place. For me, that's a left, right, left. For Don, it's a right, left, right. Gentlemen, our footwork was back, together, left, right, in place, left, which is our four, triple step. With numbers, it was one, two, three, and four, five, and six. A couple things, jump on the four. One, two, three. Three and is when the hand stops going overhead on the four. We go back in on our left foot and we do triple step. We good with that? Yep. Cool. Next, we did an underarm turn with a hand change, which is pretty darn easy. Except that, ladies, you need to remember this has nothing to do with your making any decisions. He changes the hand. But leaders, notice you already have the hand. You're going to take your right hand, put her right hand into it at about count number five. One, two, three, and four change the hand without that little sweep but that was a nice way to show dramatic <laughs> artistic okay uh, and then we were clever enough to realize we could still do an underarm turn with a right to right or a handshake hand hold we step one two three and four and if we wanted to we could change hands back again i think we moused around with that one way or the other and the final coup de, coup de gras we got it Coup de is when you take your head off. No, coup de, coup de tas, coup de gras is kind That's of a great, great thing, yeah. Oh, well then coup de tas is when, is when the marks just take over. Oh, then maybe that is when you lose your head. All right, so we're losing our head over the first cutoff, which is basically going to feel to me like an underarm turn, but Don's going to cut me off before I can go all the way. And then what, one of the ways he does it is by turning me sooner and more completely. And secondly, he sticks his right arm out and catches me. Watch this. One two, three, and four, five, and six. Maybe we want to rotate this that so it's good. easier to see. So gentlemen, she's coming down like a freight train at six o'clock. The one with two locomotives and it's about 20 minutes long. But anyway, so getting out of her way, one, two. My hand is now going to start shifting away from me. Three, and my hand's on her back. Four, I'm going with Julie. 
five and six, I'm now going to change the direction. Five and six, changing her circle. It's like a figure eight. And leaders, you're going to end up with a funky handhold. Leaders, your fingertips will be pointing down. Ladies, your fingertips will be pointing sideways. So for all intents and purposes, you have an upside down handhold. We're going to fix that in a minute. Ladies, I'd like to talk to you about your footwork. On the one, two, as usual, we're going forward, forward. On the three M, most likely we're going to be turning 180 degrees, which will mean our feet will pretty much take together steps. Three and. On count number four, I will be led to step forward, not by Don's left hand, but by the fact that he is at right angles to me, and he is stepping to his left, connected to my back with his right arm. So I step forward on count number four. I'm towing out slightly because my next turn is going to be five and six, my anchor in place. One more time from this direction. We're stepping one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Okay, that's good. That was the end of the first pattern, right? Uh, yep, and we will see you real soon for the second one. Yeah, bye. <laughs>